Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to the Wednesday afternoon team call. I'm super excited that you guys are on here live uh, with me today. Uh, in that I'm, I'm grateful for also for Sean. I see he's on here live with us for doing a little video on the team page today, kind of let you guys know what to expect with today's team call. And I just want you guys to know, like, I, I've been writing down all these ideas uh, of things. And that's you guys, if you guys know me, I'm not the most organized person. So um, that's a big step for me because I want to make sure that we can be clear and concise on what we can do uh, during this time. And I, I see uh, Sean's written down some things as well. So, Sean, um, you, during call at any time, feel free to share ideas with me as well. Um, I'm going to mute everybody real quick. And if you need to share something, just let us know. Um, but I want to just start out going over just a couple quick announcements and just say it's good to see you guys all on here live with me. I see Lindsay, Ashlyn, Phyllis, Randy, Whitney, Lacey, Sabrina, Kelsey, Linnea, all you guys. So um, super weekend. Just a quick announcement uh, that I want to remind you guys is uh, we won't be meeting in person for super weekend. Uh, for the first time, uh, just like everything else that's going on in the world right now, of not doing social gatherings over 10 people, we have um, a ver our first ever virtual super weekend led by Carl Deichler, which will be on Saturday, April 18th. And there's more details to come, but it will be on the morning of Saturday, the 18th. What I would recommend is that you make sure that anybody on your team, any coaches you have, discount coaches or building coaches, that they uh, know about that, make it... Uh, a goal and a plan to uh, attend that virtual weekend uh, together, like be on there live and listen together. I would also make the invitation, and this goes for super weekends that are not virtual, is to invite your customers as well, any clients that you have to come, because it's a great way to expose them to our CEO and our mission and what we're doing and what we're planning to do in the future. So that's a month from today, April 18th in the morning. So Let's, uh, let's make sure that we remember that, put that down in our calendars so we're not occupied that morning. And um, they're also gonna be talking at that time about BOD groups, like the whole transition into BOD groups and what that means. Once again, I think it's a great opportunity if you have your customers or clients or prospects there as well, that they can see how innovative this company is in coming up with new ways to better serve um, our customers and the people around us. So uh, that's all I have for announcements on that. Um, as um, Sean stated in his little live video on the team page today, we're going to talk, talk about a couple things. How to get back up when you're down or what can we do and focus on right now, um, whether it's the mindset, even if you have the mindset, how to take into action, what the best action steps are right now. That's number one. And then number two, how to use the free 14-day um, free trial or the 10 sample workouts as a way to help people right now as well. So we're going to talk about those things, but I do feel it necessary to uh, read to you guys a post from Jonathan Gelfand um, as, a prelim, as a prelim to this call. Uh, I know it's always exciting to hear from Beachbody Compliance, but I think it's important um, that we do it. You can read it in the page, but I'm just going to read it out loud. Uh, to you guys on the team call right now, and I was on the page, but I left to go to uh, the target <laughs> to the target um, website to try to help my dad <laughs> as the call got started. So, um, this post from uh, Jonathan Gelfand. If you guys don't know, Jonathan Gelfand and Jemima are the head of the compliance team, and they are our friends. They're here to help protect Team Beachbody as we build our business, that we do it with integrity and we do it in a way that um, protects the business that we're building. So this is what he says. He says, first and foremost, I hope you and your families are staying safe through this unprecedented time and know that we are thinking about all of you. Given the anxiety and information overload many of us are experiencing, it is understandable that we are all looking to share ways we can help those around us stay healthy, especially as most of the people we know are now staying home. As a Beachbody coach, it's a reflex to want to inspire and enable others to focus on their self-care and share ways that they can maintain or even start working on the physical fitness while they're spending most of their time at home. It's especially compelling with gyms and most public fitness options closed. Like you, we are very proud that Beachbody On Demand is a perfect alternative. We're also proud of our different nutrition offerings from helping people with meal planning and healthy recipes to our amazing Chicology and Daily Sunshine, helping families and healthy nutrition options and other great supplements. But at the same time, we are not the company that exploits a situation to get ahead. It is extremely important, all caps, 
that when promoting our solutions that our coaches never make any kind of product claims that either directly state or indirectly imply that any Beachbody's products, including a spotlight on specific ingredients in our supplements, should be used to prevent or cure any symptoms, illness, or disease. While this has always been true, it is especially important in light of our international state of emergency and pandemic around the coronavirus. Making these kinds of claims is not only irresponsible as people are already extremely anxious, but it's actually illegal. This applies to both direct and indirect claims about using our products, preventing or curing the coronavirus, and even discussing the benefits of our supplements and then adding a tag like hashtag coronavirus or hashtag virus immunity at the bottom of a post. Beyond the negative public reaction to these tactics, many of the attorneys, I know this is boring sometimes, but many of the uh, Attorney General and Food and Drug Administration and the Federal Trade Commission continue to take direct action against companies and individuals claiming that their products could be used to prevent or cure COVID-19 and other related illnesses. This is a time that we should be working to help people stay positive and proactive about taking precautions as a company is critical not to spread any kind of misinformation. Unfortunately, there's evidence to the contrary and we're doing everything we can to not let this undermine the business by getting out in front of it. Coaches who are using these types of statements will face disciplinary measures, including the possible suspension or termination of their accounts. In addition, because this is such a sensitive area, which regulators and the public are being very aggressive around, we ask that if you see any of this behavior tied to Beachbody products, that you please report it immediately to our compliance department at compliance at beachbody.com so we can respond to it. We would much rather hear about it from you than from a regulator. As we face the days and weeks ahead, we have a tremendous opportunity to help others, but we must be legal and socially responsible with the information we share and help we offer. Should you have concerns or questions about our product claims guidelines, you should reach out to your compliance team at compliance at beachbody.com. We appreciate your partnership during this especially challenging time. And most important, we and we and your lo love, you and your loved ones, and hope you remain safe and in good health. Okay, wasn't that exciting? <laughs> A message from compliance, but I think it's very important because uh, what we're gonna talk about today is how to help people. Uh, during this time, first and foremost with ourselves, like if, if you're in a funk or you've been in a funk or you're headed into a funk that you know what to do and to prepare yourself for that. So uh, that's what I want to share with you guys. Um, I want to just share a, a few of my thoughts and then I want perhaps Sean can share some of his thoughts as he's um, one of the one that kind of inspired this. But I just want to first and foremost start out with saying how grateful I am for the Team Beachbody like Beachbody as a company and the Team Beachbody opportunity, every single day that I get up, I just like in my prayers and my meditation, I'm just so grateful that Beachbody even gives us the opportunity to share these products and be able to earn an income from it, from, from helping other people. Because I, I like Carl Deichler, never had to, to give us that opportunity, never had to uh, make that opportunity available to us. So every day I wake up, I'm grateful for that. And uh, throughout all the ups and downs I've had in my business over the past nine years and my journey over the past 10 years, is I've always had the decision, I've, I've made the decision that no matter what happened, if my entire business was taken from me one day for some reason, I would just, I would wake up the next day and I would work, I would work the same that I do today. Like I would know that I got to work on my own mindset. I got to work on my own ambitions and goals and dreams. And I need to work on my own health and fitness and my nutrition. And I would do everything I could that day to help the people around me. And if I believe the best solution to help people around me is to get them healthy and fit with our workout programs, then that's what I would do. So um, that's the mindset I have every single day that I wake up. So whether I know this has nothing to do with, um, uh, the COVID and all of that that's going on, but it has everything to do with what you do when you're in a slump um, or if you've ever been in a slump is I've made that decision beforehand. So I've been in the slumps, but I've made the decision that I will every single day wake up and do the very best I can to build myself, mindset, nutrition, health and fitness, personal development, and then number two, serve the people around me no matter what happens. So that's why you've we've seen, like if our team has been a 14 star diamond one week and a four star diamond the next week and a seven star diamond the next week, all the time that happens, income goes from here to here to here to here, but I'll still show up at the same level because I've made the decision that 
my happiness and my willingness to serve other people and build my business doesn't depend on what the numbers say on a Thursday morning. So I think it's important that each of us right now that we make sure as we go in to talk about what do you do when you're in a slump is you have to make that decision right now that you won't let outside circumstances determine how you feel and you react. And I think back to one of my mentors, uh, Craig Holiday, that said, Scotty, if you want to be successful, not only in this business, but in life in general, you have to become a matador of your emotions. And a matador is the guy that has the red flag that fights the bulls. He said, when the bull comes running at you, you have to hold that flag away. You got to dodge those emotions and stay grounded and, and stay uh, in line. Uh, with that being said, I want to just say, like, as we are heading into this, uh, like, not heading into, Sean mentioned, like, all of his, like, all of Edmonton and Calgary is, like, shut down, and many of you guys might be in the same place. Like, we still have gyms open here in Idaho, but they have the, the whole social gathering of 10 people, the schools are shut down for who knows how long, the toilet paper is gone, all of that stuff. Like, we have that here, we, we, but we still can go to the gym. So as I think about this, like what I want you guys to know is we, this is our chance. Like it's easy to lead yourself. And if you have a team, it's easy to lead when things are going good. Like when everything's climbing and going up, but where you really grow yourself to the next level is when you can step up and lead when things are hard. And I think that when things get hard, you have two choices, abandon ship or step up and lead. And it's funny because we've had, like, this is a, a worldwide global thing with the coronavirus, uh, but we've had ups and downs in Beachbody before, like when we went from DVDs to BOD, where, where it was challenging. And, and, and I remember people leaving Beachbody to do other companies, and those companies no longer exist. And I see those guys, like, struggling. Like, I, I put on my YouTube channel at that time, like, a good leader doesn't abandon ship when it gets hard. A good leader like pushes forward and does everything he can to help the people around him. And I had people bashing me on my YouTube channel. Like that's a bunch of crap. A good leader would take his people off that shit before it sunk. And it's funny to me because like, like there'll always be people judging you on what you've done, but that was three years ago. And we've like the, the ship didn't sink. Like we're, we're growing and better than we've ever been before. And so I want you guys to know that like it's you have to go against the grain. Like you have to rise up. And what I want you want to remind you guys at this time is like don't feed into the everybody already has a lot of fear and anxiety. So as we talk about how do we use the free sample workouts and the 14 day free trial that we show up on social media in a way that isn't causing more fear and anxiety for people. Um, and that goes for both getting people into our, our challenge groups, getting people with our fitness results, getting people in the business. Like we don't want to use fear as a way to be like, come join our business and cause more fear and anxiety that, than, than they already need because they're already facing many uncertain times. Like parents that both work possibly have their kids home from school and they got to figure out how to take care of their kids and, and, and go to their jobs. So we don't want to create any more fear and anxiety. So remember, like oftentimes on this team, we've talked about the importance of your vision and your goals and hope. Like you're going to create more results by talking about hope and vision and your future far more than trying to create fear in people's lives to get them to take action on something. So, and guys, I don't have notes on this. I'm just, I'm just sharing from my heart what I think and what I feel and what my goal and, and my plan is, is I want to be able to share the most positivity that I can. And it, a quote comes to my mind right now says, lighthouses don't go all over the sea looking for boats to save. They just stand there shining brightly. And so I want you guys to think of your role as a coach to be the lighthouse for people. Like there's, there's ships, like the people are in these unknown seas right now and it may be dark and it may be scary. And and so all that we can do really right now is to be a light for people, be the guiding light. So, I mean, that leads into kind of what 
um, Sean wanted to talk about, and I'll talk about it briefly and then I'll let Sean share some things, is like if you have fallen off of track or you have, you're a coach and you're like, you believe in these products, you believe in your dream, you believe that you can accomplish all these things, but you're just kind of like stuck or you've worked on it before and it's not moving forward or you built it and then it fell away. What I want you to think about um, first and foremost right now is, is once again, the word decision. Like I, like those goals and dreams were planted in my life for a reason. And I'm willing to grow into the person that can accomplish those. And it's going to take a lot of faith and a lot of hope. But I want, to, um, before I go ahead and share, like, this is what I think, this is what I believe is the best steps to do. I want Sean to share some of his um, feelings and thoughts, maybe uncertainties, anything you want to share, Sean, and then I'll, uh, I'll share kind of what I'm doing. Yeah, for sure. Um, once again, guys, yesterday I messaged Scotty and said, you know what, we should actually add this to our team call because I've been struggling this with for, for this for the last two years. Um, I'd like to say it was last year, but it's been longer than that. You know, um, I was a top male coach on Scotty's team for the very, very long time. And then I had some stuff come up and I actually I took the step back and I've been struggling. I, I haven't quit yet. I don't have a plan to quit. But there are many, many people on this team that are in the same position that I am that just don't know how to move forward from that stump that we were in, how to move forward and, and create the life that we want, um, but not even be able to get a success club. Does that make any sense? Like, I want to come back, and it's a struggle every day to, to get that kind of stuff done. Um, so talking to Scotty, and within the last couple of weeks, I've done a couple of different posts. Number one. Network marketing, MLMs, they have a bad, bad rap right now, right? And, and then, so I ask people, plain and simple on my post, what is it that you guys have against MLMs, right? Because that's what we are, and people are afraid to, to talk about it and so forth, but really, at the end of the day, that's where we are. We're, we're beyond that. We're coaches that help people, but the main business is an MLM. So I ask people what, what the biggest problem was, and I had some, some good answers. It really came down to, you know, everybody says it's the pyramid scheme and so forth, but it all comes down to, um, <clears throat> let me just find my wordings here. It was the reps, okay? It was the actual reps of a business that have given us a bad name. So I'm gonna do this in two parts, Scotty, if that's okay. Um, so number one, how do, how, how do you get back to, like how do for me how do i get back to where i was number one i gotta forget where i was or what i was in this business or how far i went it went in this business and i really have to look at the things that i did right in this business and if i look back back to four years ago um i was in love with the business because i was in love with what it did for me right i i figured out shit this gave me a whole new life, right? And, and I didn't even know Scotty when this business gave me a whole new life because I didn't even know there was a freaking business involved. And it's just, I found Power 90 and I had a goal to lose weight and I did it and I did it consistently. And yeah, in the beginning, it sucked balls. It was so hard. Um, and kind of in the same position I'm in now because I've gained 40 pounds. I, I just had my hip replaced and doing a lunge hurts. Doing a squat hurts. Any of that stuff hurts. But I kind of look back, and this is how I'm finding my drive again. It's like, well, remember when you first started, Sean? It was tough, right? So we got to go through those growing pains again as, as individuals, as coaches moving forward and fall in love with that process and fall in love with seeing the results that we get, whether it's a, a small result of me just waking up in the morning, smiling and looking forward to a workout, Okay. Um, do we have to go read 10,000 books right now? No, I don't think that's the case. I think you need to fall in love with you. You need to fall in love with the person that you are or the person that you were. Find that person first, okay? You cannot share the, the drive, the mission, the vision. You cannot share that until you find you. So you have to get up and you have to do the hard things first, okay? That does not mean you have to go message 10,000 people. Right now, actually, that's the last thing you want to do, okay? Because that's going to give you a bad name in three months from now, okay? And I'll get to that. That's part of my second part I want to talk about. But 
really guys, you know, I, th I thought a lot, a lot, a lot about it. And I'm finally at the point of my, my life again. Um, you know, my hip is, is, is been replaced. I'm getting stronger every day. Yes. The virus has kicked all our ass. Scotty's not kidding. My daughter is home right now because my schools are shut down to September. There's no daycare. My gyms aren't open. Um, I've lost all my nightclub gigs. I work with CJ and Kira and Z clear. We've lost all our trade show money. Um, I, I have not like I'm down to, and I'm on disability right now. All right. So I am, I'm not making a ton of money. I'm making 70% of what my salary is blessed that I have that right now because I have nothing coming in. And I'm like you guys, there are some, yeah, some make, make a thousand dollars a week. I'll tell you right now, I don't make that. I used to, but I don't now. My check this month week is $167 and that's it. And last week it was 50. Okay. But like Scotty was saying, I'm grateful that I have that $167 because I didn't have that $167 if I wasn't for this business. Right. So that helps me out. So my vision for myself is I have to get up and for you guys too, you got to find what's right for you. Find a program. Seriously, just find one program that you fell in love with or are in love with and go for it. Start at day one. And if it sucks, go into the virtual gym and say, you know what? It sucks. This program sucks. It's hard. It's hard. Guys, I'm, I'm, I'm crumbling. And just remember, when you first started, you crumbled in the beginning, right? I lost 55 pounds. And it hurt every pound I lost. And so that's the mindset we got to have. You can't have the, well, I used to be able to do 50 push-ups, and now I can do 10 mindset. You have to, holy shit, I just did 10 push-ups. That's the mindset you have to have. So first and foremost, you have to start with yourself. Find a program that you love. Go from A to B. And we always say that, but really, guys, it's going to come to the point. You got nothing else to do. You can't go out. You can't meet up with friends. You can't go out for lunch. There's nothing else you can do right now. It's going to be a point that you're going to think it's a little bit of a holiday for yourself because you get to sit home and watch Netflix. And, and that's fantastic. That's great because I've done that for the last six months because I've been on disability. Right? So find that program and just hammer it and do it and, and feel the results, feel the way you're feeling and talk about it. <clears throat> So this goes into my second part. Sorry, Scotty. This goes into my second part. There's a right approach right now and there's a wrong approach right now. You get to reinvent yourself right at this moment. I always thought, you know, what am I freaking missing? There's something I'm, I'm missing. And, and honestly, guys, what I was missing was I was going for the numbers. I was going for that get, get the money, right? Really, at the end of the day, that's what it was all about. Get the money. I've done the programs. I've lost the weight. Get the money, right? Now you guys get, if you've ever had that mindset and, and especially right now, we all need the money. I get it. Right. Get into the mindset is whatever I do now will get me the money later. Okay. So there is a right approach and a wrong approach approach. You okay? Do be careful. Um, the wrong approach is do not mass message people. Okay. That's not going to help you right now. People don't need, um, and this, this is going to sound very wrong because it's kind of different from what we're, we're used to. People don't need our product right now. That is the last thing on their minds. They're scared. They don't know what they're going to do from week to week. Do you think they're even thinking about $129 shake Canadian right now? They're not thinking that right now. So there is a right way and a wrong way. Do not go for a sale right now. You guys have to show up and show love, 100% show love to everybody because that's what they need. They're scared. They're frightened. They need someone that knows, that they need someone there that is going to listen to them and help them through this. We have to band together and help as much as we can. So this is also going to go into what Scotty's going to talk about after because this is a great way to do this. Um, so you want to show love. You want to serve. And when you do those both, when you love and serve first, you will grow. Everything else will come after. Love and serve, okay? Um, <clears throat> make sure love is in the center of your business and your life right now. Really, at the end of the day, your family, like Carrie and I fought yesterday. We don't fight very often, but we fought because we both got panicked. And we started talking about things. And I, I don't know a lot of people that do know me. I get heated pretty quick and I'm not afraid to drop the words. 
right? If, if I'm feeling attacked or whatever, I'm not afraid to come out and say what's, uh, what I'm thinking, even though I don't think about what I'm thinking. I just say what I'm thinking, and sometimes it gets me in trouble. So love is in the center of your business and your life. So make sure that is first. Um, people do not need a sale right now or to be recruited. That is not what they're looking for. Um, this is your opportunity, guys, to show the value in what we do. Um, what we do grows our mindset to be able to deal with challenges that other people aren't able to, you know, to deal with. People don't know how to deal with this thing, right? But this business, this mindset that we have as, as coaches, as, as family, with all the personal growth that we've done over the years, we have that mindset to think, okay, it's going to get better. How can I serve my people to make sure that they can get in that mindset too, right? Because when, it, when this is all done, the people that you have served and loved, they're going to come to you, right? And they may come to you now. They may, they may be in, in that position to say, you know what, Sean, I, I need each body on demand. I need that in my life. My gyms are closed, right? But you don't have to come out that way. You don't have to come out with the sale. You can come out with, this is what I'm doing. This is what I can give you. Um, again, Scotty will go into the, the 10 sample workouts. I was up at three 30 this morning and I did a whole, um, Brigitte actually po posted it earlier and I just made it, uh, my own template, my Google site that I'm able to just take 14 workouts. Now it's a powerful, powerful, like it's almost like a, a, a blog post that I can just send to, to somebody that is looking for that without me asking for a sale right? This is what I can give you. This is what I can offer. Um, sorry, just going to read my notes here. So again, love and care about the people um, like you've never had before. Okay. I always put numbers first. So now I get to re my, reinvent myself and actually love the people and try and focus everything I post, everything that I write, every live video I do, how can I show them value without thinking of me? Because that's what people need in their lives. They need you. They, they, they need the Ashlands, they need, you know, the Sabrinas, they, they need the Phyllises, they need you. You're going to touch every single person in this world that I can't touch or Scotty can't touch. They need you. They need you to be um, vulnerable to this situation. They need to see how you're going to get through this situation. And at the same time, when you, when you start going through that, guys, your, your mentality in this business, if you were stuck, you're going to see what happens with your growth. You're going to see the, you know, the acknowledgement that you're going to get. You're going to see the comments from people and, and, and the thank you. And when you start seeing that stuff, that's when you get out of that, you know, slump that you had because we're all looking for something out of the business. And yes, you know, at the end of the day, it's money, but it's those little things that fuel your fire. Like this call right now is fueling my fire. These calls always fuel my fire. Um, because it's something that I love to do, right? So I know after this call, I'm going to get out and I'm going to be pumped and fired up to do this, to, to work today. And that's all I'm focusing on is working on the business today and how I can serve other people. Um, you grow through love and serving and your paycheck will grow and your team will grow. And, and I've seen it. I'm, I'm watching it with Tate. I'm watching it with Beth. I've seen it with, with Scotty because he leads with the heart. I've seen it with Jen. You know, I've seen it with so many people. But in my mind, it never clicked. It, it, it never clicked like that. It's saying, you know what? Chase that number. I'm, I'm a Success Club 10 legend, right? I remember when we went to Punta Cana, Scotty offered the, you know, if you hit a certain amount of Success Club points, I'll pay for your flights. I was the only flight that he paid for because I hammered the numbers throughout that whole year. But that's what I was going through was just, was just the numbers. The numbers were crazy, right? But I didn't have that lead with love. I didn't lead, have that lead with serving mentality. And if you really want to get out of your slump, think of it that way. I, I, it, it sucks because we're in such a predicament right now that everybody needs that extra money. But I'm telling you guys, lead with love and, and, and serve people and it will come. It might not come as quick as you want it to, but it will come. I promise you um, show up for the people like you've never showed up before. Um, you're giving them the gift of a mindset that you have right now that they may not have. So if you can do that, 
at the end of the day, guys, you're, everything's going to grow for you. I, that's how I'm going to focus on getting out of my slump. I'm going to take care of myself, and I'm going to love like a motherfucker. I'm going to go crazy on the people. And if they don't like my posts, that's fine because I know each one of my posts will have value. It will not be, you know, what is this post going to do for me? It's going to be, what is this post going to do for them and how can we help them move forward? And I'm going to go with that and, and, and do it. And I'll do it through this coronavirus and I'll continue to do it after because that's when everything's going to click. And I think that's the power in what we have as Beachbody. That's what I got, Scotty. Awesome. Thank you, Lindsay. I'll unmute you so you can share. Hey, everyone. I didn't know I was going to talk today, so I'm just going to wing this. But um, pretty much everything that Sean was saying uh, was what I was going through in a similar situation when I first started um, with Beach Body. I was a new mom, um, a single mom at that, and just had a C-section, all that kind of stuff. But I went out of the gate. I actually didn't know Beachbody was a business until um, five days before I had my son. And once I realized it was an actual business, once I had him home, I was up anyway. So I was just learning and kind of training and reading all the things. And I think in my first month, it's a success club. And I was only supposed to be on mat leave for about two months. That's all I could afford. So with Beachbody, I was able to stay on Matley for the full year, which was really, really cool. Things were going really well, everything, like mentally, physically, lost um, all the baby weight. And then myself, two years ago, financially, things with my other business weren't going well. I ended up gaining, you know, weight, which took a hit on my confidence and my business with Beachbody was definitely lacking. And now that I'm on a different level, just with my, you know, what I have faith in and, and the personal development that I've been doing, I realized that the more I focused on money and the more I focused on what I didn't have and watching, you know, our top coaches be so successful and watching everyone um, go on the trips, you really feel like you have a lack of and somewhere along the way, I had lost touch with why I really wanted to coach. Um, why I wanted to coach was to help people, to help myself, to build confidence. It had nothing to do with being a business or making money. So it's really amazing how that can really um, cause issues, you know, with our mindset. So I'm very similar to Sean's case in the last year, really leading with love um, and really having a higher purpose to serve. Um, and so what's happening now globally is we're truly like all in this together. Um, one of the best things I've heard recently was it's unchartered waters for us now. We've never dealt with this before. Um, and I do believe that we will get through it, absolutely. And we're gonna get through it together and it really will show how you get through a situation like this at the end, um, the type of person that we are, the type of company, the type of coach, um, yeah, just the type of human being that we are. I do believe that people need so much love right now um, and compassion. I, I think with great loss comes learning um, and more understanding and more compassion. We, um, I believe this for a long time, we're not, we're not meant to live in a rat race. Um, and that's what we've been living. So this is a very humbling experience for sure. So, and I'm the same with Sean. Right now I'm in Saskatchewan in Canada. We're not quite closed down as far as like gyms and daycares, um, but our schools are. And, and my other business is slowly being shut down and it definitely is scary, but I keep telling myself more faith than fear. Count your blessings. We have so much. Um, when we really think about it. So daily, I'm just making a list of 10 things that I am grateful for um, and that I have because, yeah, if we let it overwhelm us, it gets really crazy. So my 10 grateful, like what I can lean on and over the last, like I've been coaching now for five years and this community, whether I was hitting success club 
or not, whether I made $1,800 a month or zero, um, whether I gained weight or lost it has always been there for me, always. Um, Scotty, pretty much since day one since we met, um, my success partner, Christine, our community of girls that we coach, we've just always been there uh, no matter what. And that's really what's important, I think, especially in a time like this. So, yeah. Thank you. Well, yes, I am unmuted. Thank you. <laughs> I'll mute you. Oh, man, I, I don't know. I'm a little bit emotional right now. I just, I just love you guys. Thanks, Sean and Lindsay, for sharing. And they've been with us for a while. Some of you guys have been with us not as long. Um, I just want to share something that this whole thing is doing for me. It's, it has nothing to do uh, with all of this. But one thing that I love is it, it's, it, it triggered in my mind when Lindsay said, we've all been running a rat race. It's triggered in my mind or in me just to slow down and to be more present, going back to what Sean said, and love. And that's first and foremost, love yourself and love the people around you and be present for them. Um, you know, I, I have great and bright hope for the future and, and how, like, I believe that God is putting this stuff in our life right now to make us remember that, like what's most important. It's not accolades, it's not ranks and titles, it's not money and investments and all that stuff. It's that we're each humans with beautiful souls who have a desire to grow and to love and to feel that same love. And so we need to be that light. And going back to what Sean said, if we be that person, we're going to be able to um, add incredible value to people's lives in the way that we're supposed to. And if we do that, if you add enough value to the people's lives around you, it will come back to you. It might not come back to you right now. It might not come back to you next month, but it will come back to you. Um, and I want to share, as I'm going to lead into here, doing the free, like how to do the free sample and all of that. I want you guys to know that like people are like, even though some people are scared, people are still willing to invest. Like I'm at success club 12. I signed a brand new coach today on a challenge pack for 10 rounds. Like people are still, I don't want you to think like, Oh, I can't talk about the challenge pack because people don't have money. Like, People are still willing to invest in themselves, whether it's for their health and fitness or for building a business, being like, oh man, I really do need to, now I see what Scotty and Sean are doing with this side business thing. It's a way that if something like this happens in the future, I have a, an, an extra income that can help my family and reduce stress in the future. Like people are going to be thinking like that. So don't, as we talk about the, the free samples, don't like cut off and be like, okay, I'm not going to strive for my goals anymore. I'm not going to try to help people with the best solution. Um, like my sister right now, uh, like I'll, I have two sisters and one of them has, has gone through some incredibly hard trials in her life. She's my youngest sister. Like she's like putting escrow on her first like home, like today. Like, so people are still willing to invest into something for their future. So don't be afraid of offering challenge packs and, and people to join your team as a coach during this time. Just know that there's an option for all of the people that might be in that place where they are scared that you could be a light to them and serve them no matter what. And what I want you guys to remember is that this is something we should do every single day anyway. It's not like, we, I mean, we shouldn't be giving like free workouts to everybody every single day, but we should be serving people and helping people where they're at. And when you do that, like I see Whitney's on the phone right now. She's She's just dialed in trying to put her baby to sleep. But an example, like I have, I'm super excited about Whitney and her building her business. She's already got her husband on board who I tried to recruit for eight years and I couldn't recruit him until after she came into my, into my business. But I want you guys to know that she came into my business on a three month membership to Beachbody on demand with no shakeology to do morning meltdown 100. She saw the results, how the fitness program helped her as a new mom at like a, a new mom at home. She still loved to go to the gym when she could, but when she couldn't, she did her workouts at home. And then um, she saw the support and the accountability. Like I checked in with her, even though she didn't buy Shakeology or Beachbody Performance Line, she was in our Challenge Dynasty Strong Virtual Gym and I checked in her on her every one or two weeks in a private message and asked how she was doing. She saw that value uh, in what we do as coaches and said, I wanna do that. 
Like I want to do that for other people and I see this is a great solution. So just know that the work you do right now, giving people a 14 day free trial or the 10 samples can lead to a great coach like Whitney. But that was, if you're looking or chasing for success club points, some of the things that Sean said he struggled with in the past, you could get uh, discouraged thinking like, oh, I'm not hitting success club or my commissions aren't where, they, where I want them to be. Realizing that that work that you do right now for these people, you, the, the result will come in the future with great and amazing coaches like I have in Whitney as a brand new coach. But that has to be a delayed, you have to, it has to be it's something delayed, right? Okay, so here's my quick tips on like what to do when you're down and out. I've been down and out before. Gabby and I have I've been through really hard um, marital struggles. Um, we've been through, I've been through shattered collarbones. I've had surgery on both my biceps on, at the same time. I've had everything that you could think of from suicides in the family to, to people in jail that I love to, to, to loved ones passing away from cancer, everything. And all of those can put you down. But what has helped me to stay consistent and go through is going back to what Sean said, remember why you started in the first place. Like remember what this did for you and then remember to always continue to work in that type of manner, like Sean said. Like if you're down, that's your chance to fight. And I love when Les Brown says, if you can look up, you can get up. Like, right, if you can knock down your back, realize that you can just get right back up. So those things that I do every single day, and I think it's, <clears throat> I think it's incredible, and I don't find it a surprise, that I did the three week yoga retreat. Like I love bodybuilding and weightlifting with Body Beast and all the hard workouts. But it's like, it's like, I think about it as I do my morning meditation. Why did I do three-week yoga retreat for the last three weeks as we led into this hard time? Like, it's the first time I slowed down ever to do three-week yoga retreat, to stretch and to get mindful and to be focused on my mind and my spirit and all of that that is involved with yoga. And then we go into this really hard time and I'm like, this peaceful, like, oh, everything's cool, like making like light trying to lift people up and so it's that self-love and that self-care that has helped me right now to stay strong and where I'm at so <clears throat> like I'll just go through this is my daily routine every day I wake up and I'm like oh my gosh I got this to-do list I got to reach out to 10 new people I got my follow-up list I, I need to get this post out that post out we need to do a team call um like BOD groups is coming out like we got to cancel the Punta Cana flights we got to do this like we have a trip to philly chris pandolfo and i for super saturday we gotta get that can like all of these things right like you wake up and you're like ah what do i do and when that happens you can get paralyzed so what i do is i always i always say like i gotta take care of me like i'm gonna take care of me first and i do it every single day and i do it religiously like i'll tell you exactly what i do as i walk in i don't ever open my instagram or my facebook and to like to scroll or see anything, I wake up, like I take my time brushing my teeth and flossing. Like that's my first thing I do. And I listen to an uplifting, um, if you guys don't know, I'm Mormon. So I listen to these, um, what are called conference talks. So it's spiritually uplifting talks. I listen to those while I brush my teeth. You can listen to personal development. You can listen to whatever you want. But I do that every single day. And it takes me about 10 minutes. Like put my contacts in. I used to have to comb my beard, so I took a little longer. But I just, I take my time. I listen to that and I brush my teeth and I floss. Take my shower. I come immediately into the kitchen. I make my Shakeology. I mix it with one scoop of Energize, even though I'm not ready to do a workout quite yet. And I, I drink that. I come into my office. I kneel down at this chair right here. I don't flip open my laptop. My phone still hasn't been opened. And I say my daily prayers. And one of the things that I've added into it over the past six months is to help me have um, excitement and energy in reaching and achieving my goals, my personal goals for my family, of leading a superstar diamond team, of being an elite team. But please help me do it in a way that serves the better good of everybody that I touch. Like as I go after these goals, please help me do it in a way that, better, that serves the people for the better good. And then I ask, I, I ask that I write my post and I deliver my message. And I have my conversations in a way that attract the right people and my tribe into our life that will help us accomplish that goal. 
So that's it. And then I sit down and I read scripture. I read one chapter in the scriptures and then I read one chapter in here. Even if I feel like I got a ton of stuff to do, like my to-do list is going to be too long for me to accomplish that day. I make sure I do all of that. And then I read my post. I mean, I read my book, scriptures, book, and then I write a post before I ever open my social media to see what's going on in the world. So that way, like I've just focused on me, write my post, then I go do my workout. And then after that workout's done, I do the thing. So like, how do, how do I come back when you're down? I say, focus on those things. Like I work on my personal development, my prayer meditation, my reading, my spiritual growth. And then I add value to the world by writing a post and I do, and then I do my workout and obviously I drank my shake and I do all those things before I do anything else. So if you're stuck in like, what do I do next? Like I would focus on those things and those things, what we talked about today, if you do that and then put your post out into the world, you're going to be adding that light and adding value to the world, which is what the world needs right now from us as leaders. So that's what I do. Um, whenever I'm down and out or feel down and out is I remember why I started. I make sure that I'm grateful for this opportunity, that it never needed to be, it, it, was, it could have been possible that it never came into my life, and that I'm grateful for that, and then I do those steps. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, because we're already at 12.52 uh, Mountain Time, and we got this other little topic, we'll go through how to use the sample workouts <coughs> real quick. Um, there's two options, really. So what I would do is you choose what options work, works best for you or offer your audience, the people that are watching your social media, the people you talk to day to day, offer them both. So I would just be very, always be very straightforward and open with people. Say, hey, and, you know, you can write a post, like if anybody needs help with their health and fitness, well, you know, you're stuck in your home or whatever, I, I can offer you something and I'm willing to help you for free. Like I'm willing to give you something to do for free during this time because I know it could be challenging and I wanna be able to, to serve and, and help. And that's kind of the way that I went about it on my social media, in my Instagram stories. I'm talking about at least once a day. I've written a couple of posts where I've, where I've done that. And it's kind of cool to see. I have people that have followed me these entire 10 years that have just written me and said like, hey, I, I think it's really cool that you're, willing, that you're helping people for free. And they don't even want in the group, some of these people, but they're just saying that. So then what you could do is that there's two ways. I could, I could just give you 10 sample workouts. They're like 10 different workout programs, different styles that you can just try out. Um, that's an option where you don't have to put a credit card. You're, you're just, there's no, you don't have to put any info. Like I can just give it to you and you can do them at your own pace. Um, or you can do what's called a 14 day free trial. You do need to put your, just be very open with people where you put your credit card info. Uh, it's a 14 day trial to the entire library of Beachbody on demand. And you can do any program there from start to finish, like starting like day one, day two, day three. Uh, just know that at it's a three it's actually a three month membership. So when the fourteen days is up, you will be able, you can either cancel it before it before those fourteen days are up, or you can go from there into the the three month membership, which is thirty nine ninety five U S dollars per month or per three months. So just be very straightforward. Give people the options. So the way that I did it, um, as you guys know, Sean created like a blog post that has all the links that he can just send to somebody. Let me get a drink real quick. The way that I did it is anybody that's like, yeah, I want the free workouts. And this is a cool thing, guys. I have people coming into my group that have wanted help for so long that live in Venezuela, that live in Turkey. Like I have a waiter up by my cabin. I took them exploring like during the summer a couple of times. They've wanted to do Beachbody and they love the workouts because they've done some of the DVDs. They're so pumped to be in my group and they did 10 rounds yesterday. Like I can't ever sell anything to them, but it just feels good to be able to help them as well. So the way that I do it is the way that I'm personally doing it. <clears throat> and one thing I want you guys to know about me is I decide to do something and then I figure it out after. So I start, I put up the post and people start saying like, okay, I'm interested. I'd like to do the degree workouts. And they're like, oh crap, how do I want to do this? And then I, I created a group and then I created a link of the 10 workouts. So I'm going to copy you guys a link real quick and I'll, I'll tell you how I did this. 10 free sample workouts. I want to give you guys a disclaimer here. It's going to be in the chat thread. I can also put it in the team call later. It's all already in the team page and I'll show you where it's at in the team page. 
But like, here's my list of workouts. What I want you to know though, if you click those links, it's gonna be tied to my Beachbody accounts. But one of the things I'm gonna do today is teach you how to do that for yours. Um, so what I did is I create the free group. When someone says, let's say Sean says, okay, I wanna do the free workouts. What I say is I send a message back that says, okay, awesome, I have this, I have a group. And it's a group where I'm gonna support you as you do these workouts. You know, you're, if you're new to these, you might have questions. I'm gonna be there in the group to help you with those questions. Please request this group. And then I tell them inside of this group, I have a pinned post and it's at the top. Every time you go into that group, it's at the top and it has the link to every single one of the, pro, the, the workouts. So instead of just private messaging them the 10 links, I'm creating a group where they can access the workouts. And then that way I have them in a group where I can support them. I can teach them about nutrition. I can teach them about personal development. I can be a light to them. I can help make sure that they know how to get into those workouts and support them just like a challenge group. So that's what I'm doing. So the first step you would want to do if you want to do this is get a list of the 10 workouts yourself. And then number two, create a group. And then number three, get the people into the group. Okay. Um, so that's the first thing. That's how I'm doing that. Um, while I'm on that topic, I'm going to teach you guys how to create those links. So I'm going to share my my um, desktop real quick. Let's see. Let me. Someone raise your hand when you can see it. Oh, there it is. <laughs> okay. Can you see this uh, Dynasty Strong Team page right here? Okay, Sean sees it. So there's a post in here. I just want to show you where it's at. So you can go ahead and do what, what I'm going to teach you guys right here. So um, this is about the team call. Okay, right here. So Tate, just so you guys can go back to this, Tate showed a um, showed his post, like his first post, where he talks about offering free workouts. So you can see kind of what he did there. And then there's a link right here. This link, can you guys see where, did, did you guys follow me with this link? It's loading up a new page. Maybe. Can you guys see the, the Google Doc right now? Okay. So inside of this, you can. this is something that Lindsay, Matway, and Bonnie created. Uh, they're actually doing live workouts. I'm not really participating in that. You can do it if you want. But right here is the link to the free workouts if you're looking for them as well. And there's a free meal plan. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this link. So I'm, I, this is so I can show you guys how to get these 10 free sample workouts in your own little so you can put them in your own page. So it opens up, this is just someone's kind of blog post like Sean said, where there's 10 free sample workouts. Morning Meltdown, Transform 20. Here's the 10 workouts that we're talking about. What you wanna do, and you guys can go back and watch this part if you need to later. This is how, like you could send this, but, but and I'll click it. You could send this to somebody, totally cool. Uh, it's not linked to anybody. The way that you see that is you come up here, and you can see BeachbodyOnDemand.com programs, morning meltdown, 100 workouts. It has nobody's rep ID. So it's just uh, Beachbody On Demand. So you could send it here. You could send your people to that page. They could come click this sample workout. This is where the sample workout always is at the top when you click one of these links. They can do the sample workout. However, I want to teach you guys something. Let's say they're doing these sample workouts a month from now, two months from now. They're like, you know what? I want to just sign up for my own membership because I want to do the whole morning meltdown one program. If they go click sign up right here, they're just on Team Beachbody's page. So if they sign up right there, they're gonna go to the lead program. So they'll go to the Beachbody lead program and they will be assigned as a customer to some Beachbody coach that's hitting Success Club and an Emerald. They'll go into the, the lead program. So what I want is I don't want them to go into the lead program if you are sending them those sam sample workouts. So this is, I'm gonna teach you guys real quick how to make any link on the Beachbody On Demand page, the Beachbody blog, the Team Beachbody website, how to make it connected to you. So that if they're accessing these sample workouts inside of your group, or if you send them the links and they're accessing the workouts, if they click to sign up and buy, that they're already connected to you. So you don't have to go through the process of trying to do a customer change. And the way to do that, sorry guys, this is stuff I geek out about that I love. So it's one o'clock and I'm gonna talk about it anyway because it excites me. So uh, I'm gonna teach you how to do this. There's another website you guys should know about called the Coach Link Generator. So just search like Beachbody Coach Link Generator. Okay. 
the Coach League Generator is on the Team Beachbody 411 website, tbbcoach411.com. And it looks like this. So my coach ID number for one of my business centers is 595444. I'm going to hit submit. And just as a side note, if you've never used this, you can send a link to anybody, to, to any product from here. So let's say my friend wants to buy the year access to Beachbody On Demand. I just click it and I just go to this. And I copy this link and I send it to them. That's one way. Obviously, we have the share cart as well, which I use almost 100% now. But I'm showing you this website to show you this right here. Every single one of these links at the end says question mark, referring rep ID equals and your ID number. Every single link on this page. So what you do, and this is cool, is you just copy it, starting at the question mark, okay? You copy that link off of any of these, and we're gonna go back to this, this link to the Morning Meltdown 100 sample. <laughs> if you look at the top here at, the, at the, the URL, you know, this is just to the Team Beach, the Beachbody On Demand website, Team Beachbody. If someone clicked through here, they would go to the lead program. Just paste that question mark, referring rep ID equals 595-444. I'm gonna just show you how this works. So I'm gonna copy this whole link. I'm gonna X out of it just to show you how it kind of follows through. Let's say I, I come on to my URL of my computer on my phone and I type, I copy and paste that link. See, it's the, whole, it's the same link with question mark, referring rep ID equals 595. I hit enter, it brings them to this page still. So they, set, they can play the sample workout, except the URL is now what it was before, plus the question mark referring rep ID equals and my number. So now if they're doing the sample workout and they're like, oh, that's an awesome workout. I love Jericho. I'll just, I'll just go ahead and buy the, I'll just go ahead and sign up. I'll just go ahead and buy it. If they do it, it's already connected to you. They'll show up in your coach online office as a customer and you'll get the commission. Does that make sense? And you can go back and watch that. You can send me a private message if you want. I already made a tutorial, like a short three, four minute tutorial on that on my YouTube channel on how to do this anyway. But I want to share with you guys live on this call since we're talking about that. So that is the way that you get the 10 links. The 10 sample workouts is go to the Dynasty Strong Team page, click this document right here. And once you're in that document, remember it brings you to this page. You click the free workouts, like we talked about, and then you open each one individually and just add your, open each one individually, add your referring rep ID equals in your number, copy that link and save it. So what I did is I just saved them in a note on my phone, like this. And then that note, I'll show you exactly how it is. Um, so I'll show you my group just real quick. Remember, for me, if I have someone on Instagram that doesn't use Facebook, I'm just gonna send them a direct message with the 10 links, right? I'll just give it to them free and clear. But if they use Facebook, um, I just called it Let's Work Out Together at home. I put this little calendar, which was in Lindsay's, um, that same place you could get the links. And then if you can see right here, I have a pinned post as an announcement, the 10 free sample workouts. Okay, and then I'm just treating it like a regular challenge group. I'm showing up myself, uh, showing how it is. So that's step number one. That's how you create the links for the free sample workouts. That's how you edit those links to um, have your rep ID on there. The other way um, that you can do it is what we talked about. You can either send the 10 free workouts or you can offer someone just the 14 day free trial. I'm just gonna walk you guys real quick how to send, there's two ways for you to send people the 14 day free trial. And then this will be like five minutes and we'll be done. The first one, go back to your coach link generator. There's two ways. I'll show you the share cart and the coach link generator. We're going to go enter your coach ID, mine 595 444, and hit submit. This is how you can send them a link to the, th the 14 day free trial. Go to Beachbody On Demand. Then you just send them the link for Beachbody On Demand membership. Okay, so you would copy that, send it to them, and then give them these instructions. Here's your link. For the 14-day free membership, what you wanna do is choose the three-month membership. The three-month membership will have you put your credit card information and your info. 
And then you'll have access to all of the Beachbody programs for 14 days. It asks for your credit card numbers because at day four, after day 14, you'll be charged for the three month membership of $39.95. If you wanna continue, you don't have to do anything. If you wanna continue and use that three month membership, you don't need to do anything. If you wanna cancel it, uh, there's a simple form that I can show you on how to uh, change or, or change your, <laughs> your um, Beachbody On Demand mem membership. I can send you that. Or we can talk about, if you wanna go into the year membership, how to change to that. And so you send them that link just like that. And then I know Whitney as a brand new coach, she told me she wanted to be very straightforward with people on, on the 14 day free trial. She didn't want people to feel like, why am I getting billed at day 14? So in that initial message, just be very clear. This is how it works. It takes your card info for that reason. Uh, this is what it looks like when you send them the link. <coughs> I always do this. I always just put the link and then I know what it looks like. It shows Beachbody On Demand. It's showing Canadian for some reason. I don't know why I'm in the Canadian option. <laughs> you tell them to go to the Beachbody On Demand three month membership, add to cart. It, it will show a subtotal of $0. Uh, go to checkout and then they put their info and it says in there what it does. It says after the 14 day free trial, you'll be charged for the three month membership of, but uh, that's one thing I always do is I just walk through it myself and see what it looks like. So that's one way on the, on the, the 14 day free trial. Um, Whitney's other question about that was how do I, or how do we um, either cancel the 14 day free trial or upgrade to a challenge pack or the, the year access to Beachbody on demand? And the way that you do that is just go to the coachfaq.com. Let you see the URL here. Just search coachfaq.com. It's faq.beachbody.com. And then right here, there's a manage BOD. And so you, what I do is if they want to cancel or upgrade, I just send them, I go to this, um, that link right there. They have to log in their Team Beachbody account, but I just go right there and send them the link to that Coach FAQ and then just tell them to go to the manage BOD and then there'll be all the options to cancel, to upgrade to whatever membership or to upgrade to a, um, a completion pack or a challenge pack. My internet's slow, so I don't know why that's not loading. So that's, that's what you do for that. Um, that's a, a tool for you guys to send your customers. That's the same thing for changing their Shakeology orders uh, and anything like that. Use the coachfaq.com coach and then it's right there big and bold in the front. And then the only last thing I want to talk about is the share a cart. So if you are wanting to send somebody a share a cart uh, for the 14 day free trial, this is the tool that I use. I don't use the coach link generator. What I would do is I would log into my team beach body account. You go to share a cart, share a cart. Um, and you log in like this, this is a little tutorial on share cart. This is, this is what I use to send links for challenge packs, coach signups, everything. So you go new enrollment. If you're signing a coach with a challenge pack, you, you click coach. If you're signing a customer or with anything, you click customer. You put their email address. I'll just show you how easy it is. Um, I don't know if I can make up an email. <laughs> oh, she's already got one. So I don't know if I can make an email. So I'll just do Hobbs at hotmail.com. Hoss, okay. And I'm gonna say it's Scott. Hobbs, I'm just doing this for tutorial reasons. It's a customer, uh, lives in the United States, not Canada or the UK. I do continue. And then I wanna send the three month membership. So what I do is go to fitness programs. I go to Beachbody On Demand. And then I'm gonna scroll over to just Beachbody On Demand. And I'm gonna choose the three month membership. $0, I'm gonna say add to cart. And then I'm gonna send the email. And that's how you send a link to the 14 day free trial. Um, it's just the three month membership with a 14 day free trial. You, you click send email, the email sends, and then it pops up a thing to copy the, copy the email address to your clipboard. What I do is I send the email, sometimes it goes to junk or their spam filter. So I always do copy that, that link, and then I send that link to their um, Facebook, wherever I'm communicating, to their text, to their Facebook, to their Instagram, and that is how you send the 14-day free trial. So, okay, I'm, I've been talking a lot. My voice is almost gone. So, Danae had to leave. Kate needs to put a shirt on in that picture because he's got like an eight-pack and it makes me work harder. That is true. 
Um, but anyway, guys, that's, that's all we have to talk about today. We've already gone over an hour, so I want to let you guys go because we have an important work to do. But remember, the work that you do right now, anything that you do with the right intentions, you're going to be, it's going to come, God and the universe will bring it back to you tenfold. So serve people more than ever. Realize that people do, there are going to be people that do want to coach on your team. They are going to invest in a challenge pack. Um, heck, I bought an extra bag of Shakeology, Energize, and Recover, just like people are doing their uh, toilet paper. I'm like, hey, as long as I got my huge water storage and I got some dense nutrition, like I'd rather do that than eat some hot dogs I can find if it comes down to that. So <laughs> realize that people are out there willing to invest in their future and their livelihood and uh, help people that aren't ready for that, serving them without anything, expecting anything in return. And let's be the light to everybody else. So, hey guys, I gotta let you go because these kids are need to use my laptop to do their homeschool. <laughs> so, see you guys later. And this is.